forget about the drama of politics. Less than a mile down the road from number 10, George Clooney and Julia Roberts reunited for a good old-fashioned rom-com that's certainly not to be taken too seriously. Or is it? I thought of this as a drama. I thought this was really trying to depict some of the horrible things that are going on around the world. It's so hopeless, isn't it? Do you see? It's hopeless. You cannot get a straight answer. I'm thinking about a Trojan horse sort of thing. We make her think we're okay with the wedding, and then once we're in, we get her to end it herself. That's literally what I just said. Playing warring exes who reunite to stop the wedding of their daughter to a seaweed farmer in Bali. Like in the film, I don't think there's a, a 30 seconds that go by that she doesn't say something humiliating about me, which it cracks me up. But in a, in a nice in way. In a very yeah. rotten, nice way. Sometimes yeah. subtle, sometimes not so subtle. Not so subtle. Although both now are married to other people, their big screen chemistry has seen them play husband and wife for over 20 years now. From Oceans 11 and 12, through to this latest film, which was written especially for them. It includes some impressive drunken dance moves, but was any alcohol consumed to bring out scenes like these? Not a drop. But Julia does a lot of drugs, so it really doesn't matter, because you can't drink and do those kind of hallucinogens. You know, a lot of mushrooms and things like that. No, we didn't. While the film couldn't be further away from politics, given their enduring popularity, how about some advice for our new prime minister on how to last a little longer than her predecessor? Well, it's, isn't it day one? Yeah. So, well, we, we, as... Uh, as we always say, you wish the best, because there's a lot of things coming up, a lot of, a lot of big issues coming out, and a lot of uh, financial worries for the, the whole country. So we all hope that she does her best, and we hope that there's uh, some great luck in it, because it's a, it's a tough time for everybody. But this is no women to be terribly clever, don't we, George? We do. A compliment of sorts coming from Hollywood royalty. Katie Spencer, Sky News.